Hello, this is uh, Keith All, and today we're going to be talking about uh, using another action query called the delete query. And basically, um, what a delete query is, is I'm going to show you, um, you know, open up my customer table, go to the last record. Uh, sometimes you find it necessary to delete some rows or uh, uh, in your database or your tables and in this case um, we got some duplicates in our table and it starts with uh, um, uh, customer ID 13884 as you can see if you go down to here to 13891 we start a new set of duplicate records from previously. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be building a delete query to delete any customer IDs greater than um, uh, 13890 and that's how we're going to build a delete query. So we're going to go ahead and close this and uh, we're going to go up to the create tab and over in the queries group we're going to select query design and now we're going to um, open up or add our customer table and what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the asterisk up here so we add all the fields into our query and we're going to be doing that because we're again we're going to be deleting all records that will meet certain criteria and that certain criteria again is going to be based upon the customer ID in this table so now we're going to double click on the customer ID because we want to build a criteria so the criteria is um, we're going to be deleting all records in the customer table where the customer ID is greater than 13890. And again, we'll uh, double check to make sure that's correct. Go down here and, and it looks like these are all the duplicate records. So we want to delete all these records where the customer ID is greater than 13890. So we're going to uh, do that. So we got this select query going on right here now. Now before we build the delete query, uh, let's make sure that it returns the right records that we're looking for. So what we do is now we're going to go into the view of this as you can see it pulls up these records and I already know there should be seven records so one two three five six seven records and that's uh, correct so let's go back to design mode let's close out of the customer table and now we're gonna uh, uh, go up to uh, back up to design and before we go ahead and execute this delete query again as always whenever you're working with data and you're doing some updating or deleting of records make sure that you always make a backup copy of your tables and so we're going to make a backup copy of the customer table by selecting it hitting control C and then control V and we want to make a copy of the structure and the data. So we do that. Now we got a copy of the data. Okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, select delete. And now we want to run that. So let's click on run. It's going to verify that. Um, we're about to delete seven rows from this specified table so click yes ok 
Okay, now those records are deleted. So let's go back to the customer table and make sure the delete query ran. So double click on that. Let's go down to the end. And as you can see, now we don't have these duplicate records down here. Uh, we just have one set, which is what we want. So it deleted anything above 13890. So I hope this short little tutorial helped you understand a little bit about a delete query, which is another form of an action query in Access 2016. Um, thanks for stopping by today and look forward to building more action queries for you and uh, teaching you about how to do those. Again, thanks for stopping by. If uh, you found this valuable, please like and share it. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.